we almost missed our flight, but we made it. The flight was to Lanzhou. Lanzhou is the capital city in Gansu province. What? Here are the three extra batteries. I think it's gonna be okay. Two thousand years ago, a single critical passage, surrounded by hostile deserts and impenetrable mountains, connected China with civilizations to the west. Now, two adventurers with their electric skateboards will retrace this historic route as they escape Wild West China. Anyway. Okay, we're gonna be looking off camera a lot because my computer's over there. We're looking at photos of like what we did today because we did quite a bit, quite a few things. So today is kind of like a buffer day. We just stayed in the same city, Wei Wu. Wei, Wei. I gotta keep getting wrong. I'm sorry, Wei Wu. Wei Wu or Wei? I don't remember. Wei Wu. <laughs> Damn, Wei Wu. Where are we? <laughs> no, no, no. Wu Wei. Wei Wu. Wei Wu. Okay, Wei Wu. It's one of those. It's way, way, way. <laughs> no, nobody knows the name of this place. Way, way, way. Nobody even knows this place. Um, yeah, we didn't Whatever. go anywhere. We, we just stayed in this city. Uh, tomorrow is when our actual road trip begins. Yes. Our actual road trip on, on these boards. But today we did ride around on these boards and we visited a few different um, landmarks in the city. Yes. Uh, to, yeah, so, so as I was saying, today was kind of a buffer day. Just like just in case there's any problems that we need to solve today before our actual trip, but um, we didn't really run into any problems, so we just kind of yeah. went around. Anyway, so first place we went to is um, this is Leitai Park. So we're gonna go inside. We're not sure if we can bring the skateboards inside. We're just gonna scout the place first. Well, Leitai Gongyuan was uh, kind of uh, it was a tomb. Supposedly, there's like the first horse. It means the first horse or the number one horse in the world. Okay. Whatever. These horses is dig out from a tomb, a very big tomb of of like a ancient empire, a ancient king. Which one? I don't know. I didn't say it. The the the, the first horse. Uh -huh. In the world, we just saw is the like the symbol of Chinese tourism. Oh! And it is from this tomb. Well, if you can read Chinese, here's what this is all about. So the Backfire Ranger is great, but I don't think it can go up these stairs. Got some incense here, in case you wanna do some bowing. I guess that's what you do with it, right? Like no. Pray. Pray, praying, and then praying, not not just bowing. How old is this tree? One thousand eight hundred six. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> God, tell me about this tree. Guys, check it out. This tree is one thousand six hundred eighty years old. Wow, one thousand wow. six hundred eighty years old. Wow. wow. My grand, 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 grand Age. <laughs> wow, he's not dead yet. Yes. That's the. I don't know what's really up. <laughs> we we just okay. These are these are like the top two tourist destinations in this city. Yeah, that's what we know. <laughs> that's all what we know. <laughs> that's top, all we know. top one and top two. Okay. The ceiling is kind of neat. Oh, it's Confucius. Confucius. <laughs> oh, this one's Confucius. Okay. 
This is somewhere where parents come to pray to Confucius to help to supposedly help their children get better scores on their tests. And then once they pray to Confucius, they tie their child's name on these ribbons on, on this bridge. Okay, that's it. We just visited the number one and number two tourist spots in Wu Wei. Wu Wei. Okay, the reason we started here instead of Lanzhou is because here and Lanzhou is about 200 kilometers and there's not really anything in between. Yes. And we can't really travel 200 kilometers in one day. So we had to skip the portion between Lanzhou and, and this city, Wu Wei or Wei Wu. <laughs> Whatever Wei. it's called. Wu Wei. Wu Wei. Sorry, Wu Wei. Wu Wei. Yeah. Yeah, so we had to start here because we can't we can't ride 200 kilometers in a day. But um, yeah, that's the only reason we're in this city. No offense to anyone who lives here, but this, this city is kind of got nothing in here. Well, but by the way, I have to say these temples and these Lei Tai Park, um, we saw a lot of very nice architectures. They they are they are really well protected, and it was really beautiful and we we were like uh, shocked by the asian people asian architects how they build it and how how they design it it's really amazing you should see in the video lunch time this place we're going to is um, serving northwestern chinese food is that sugar I think I'm starting to be a little bit sick. I have a slight headache over here. This <laughs> one. <laughs> what is it? Noodle. Noodle. Back to the hotel. Then we're gonna ride around a bit, take some photos. Pretty sure I'm sick because I got a headache going on. Max has provided me this magical Japanese medicine. Mm. Poor old Daniel. <coughs> <laughs> oh, it's powder. I poured it into my throat. <coughs> See, after that, we kind of just rode around and um, saw different stuff. That is some horrible thing. I, I gotta shoot that singing. Where is that? Where is that awful singing coming from? I apologize for the background music. It's happening right there. I'm not gonna tell them to stop or anything, but I, just, I apologize. Yeah, Max flew his drone, and every time he flew his drone, like, there would be <laughs> children around him. Yes. How can it go? How 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 high can it fly? It's, it's always these questions, you know. Back to uh, yeah, we just ride around. Lei Tai Park. Yeah. Oh, what's this place? Yeah, that's the Liangzhou, like like a 
uh, Asian gate. This is the Liangzhou city gate. It was one of the um, one of the main stops for the Silk Road or one of the starting points. Did this should be like uh, one of the starting point or end point i don't know or in 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 the middles of the city i think this is the one of the very important city on silk road in asian china we're not tour guides so like we, we don't know <laughs> these things but yeah if but, if we get wrong don't blame us please yeah. <laughs> we are not really good at it <laughs> yeah and there's there's a giant yin yang sign right in front of the yes. structure <laughs> Max is surrounded by kids again. Like always. We did some crazy flights. Oh yeah, well, Max did some crazy flying. Max is a professional drone pilot, so he uh, yeah. took manual control of the drone and flew it through the building. No, a gate, like a tunnel. Well, the gate, which is in the building. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then we, we just ride around and we went shopping to buy some stuff. The guy at the entrance, he wouldn't let us take the boards inside. So I think he's watching the boards for us. Hopefully not taking them. Hey Max. Hey. How come you're on a sock? What's that? That's you. Why? Look like me? Doesn't it? <laughs> Max is gonna attempt to make mud guards using, using these things. You want a pink one? I don't need one. <laughs> really? You don't want one? Well, I don't know. This is some MacGyver stuff going on right here. Max is attempting to change these into mud guards. Because tomorrow it's gonna be raining. So if and we will we will like hit the road tomorrow if it gets really really bad, so we might need this. Oh he got so. hit by a car. Ah, no, not right. a car. We just had a bit of a small accident on the road. Unfortunately, I wasn't filming, of course, but um, this very small car, I don't know if we should even call it a car, or it was kind of like a, like a very large scooter or a very tiny car. It kind of, it made a turn without looking and it ran over Max's, it, it didn't run over Max, it ran over Max's board. It kind of, I was behind Max, from what I saw, it went over, th th that small vehicle, it went over the wheel of, of the board. Now the front truck is kind of pointed slightly sideways. Like it's still, it seems to still be usable, but it's just not pointed totally straight now. I just hope it doesn't suddenly break. It's um, the first day. Damn. Yeah, we haven't actually started. <laughs> yes. we, we haven't actually started our trip. These crazy people. Yeah, this, this old guy carrying another old lady, and he just he just turned without looking. Man, it's kind of upsetting and then and then he turned around and he was like blah, 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 and then he went off <laughs> typical the track looks looks still okay yeah. check the wheel or oh, the bushings can, do they look warped yeah still good still good yeah visually everything looks okay the wheels look fine too yeah from what i saw that thing just kind of went like it drove over the wheel Yes, and then you kind of you kind of collapse onto it, onto the, the other car. Yeah, I actually scratch a little bit of this, my board's edge, yeah, my deck's yeah. edge. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty straight now. Yeah, I had to untighten, tighten, and tighten again. Mm. Well, the important thing is that the board is okay. I mean, that Max is okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get hurt or nothing happened actually, so I was really lucky. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning we set off. Uh, we're gonna head toward what's the name of the place? Yongchang Xian. Yongchang Xian. Okay. Yongchang town. It's a small town. So that how far is that? Yeah, it's like seventy kilometers from here. Okay. Yeah. Seventy kilometers. That for both of us that'll be the longest distance we've ever yeah. traveled on an the electric skateboard in one day. How do you feel? Tired. <laughs>